my name is v narendra kumar and we are from nrk academy and today we have this wonderful long series of 500 plus stories where we have we are giving you a training for mastering reading and listening and under that we have aesop's tales around 40 plus uh, aesop's tales retold by leo tolstoy and we are in the 23rd story in this video 23rd story of aesop's tales the great uh, great greek moralistic story writer retold by leo tolstoy 23rd story the wolf and the crane so let's start a wolf a wolf a wolf because uh, you have this um, article because it is not yet particular a wolf had had a bone i have a book i had a book have is position in the past it becomes have had have becomes had a wolf had a bone stuck in his throat stuck in his throat and could not cough it up cough it up cough it up so a wolf had a bone stuck in his throat and he is silent here could not could not means it's like can only but the past can becomes could that is he was not able to and was not able to or could not cough it up he called the crane he called the crane and he said to him and said to him crane you have a long you have a long neck crane you have a long neck thrust your head into my throat thrust your head into my throat and draw out the bone i will reward you so a wolf had a bone stuck in his throat clear stuck means it is attached that it he can't he's not able to remove it and could not cough it up like no matter how much he's trying the bone is stuck in his throat clear he called called past call becomes called he called the crane and the connector he said to him say become said crane you have it's a uh, it's a direct speech crane you have a long neck is it crane has a long neck thrust your head into my throat thrust means push it thrust means push it t h r u s t your head into inside my throat and draw out the bone bring out the bone i will reward you future i will reward you the crane stuck his head in right stuck his stuck his head in which means he he, he put his head in pulled out the bone and said give me my reward so the wolf gnashed g is silent let's understand this the meaning of this word g n a s h e d gnashed means he bit like you know you press it your teeth together gnashed his teeth and said is it not enough reward for you is it not enough reward for you is it not enough reward for you that i did not bite off your head <laughs> when it was between my teeth so let's try to understand this sentence is it not enough reward i did not bite off your head your head was between my teeth there are three sentences notice is it not in a physical question right i did not bite off bite off means cut off bite off your head right second sentence it was between my three it was between my teeth the head how is it connected notice is it not in a reward for you that see that links it i did not bite off your head when when it was between my teeth at that time when it was between my teeth that is how three simple sentences got connected let's read it again and again is it not enough reward for you that i did not bite off your head when it was between my teeth is it not enough reward for you that i did not bite off your head when when at that time it was between my teeth see is it not enough reward for you that i did not bite off your head when when your head it was it means your head it is a pronoun there was between my teeth so that's so funny isn't it so he says i didn't kill you and that's what i'm giving you so that's a very funny um, you see so when you help people they are can be so cruel so it's a very harsh moralistic stories <coughs> the wolf and the crane now let's see if you have got the story perfectly a wolf had a bone stuck in his throat clear and he could not cough it up he is silent clear he called the crane and he said to him he is silent clear crane you have a long neck clear thrust your head into my throat clear and draw out bring out the bone clear i will reward you clear see the crane stuck his head in pulled out the bone and said see three three things are linked here crane stuck his head in crane pulled out the bone crane said three sentences give me my reward the wolf gnashed 
his teeth and said is it not enough reward for you that i did not bite off your head when it was between my teeth and that completes this wonderful uh, story the 23rd story 23rd story the wolf and the crane the wolf had a bone stuck in his throat and could not cough it up he called the crane and said to him crane you have a long neck thrust your head into my throat and draw out the bone i will reward you the crane stuck his head in stuck his put his head in don't get uh, frightened by new words it's just simple word if you repeat it you'll get it the crane stuck his head in pulled out the bone and said give me my reward the wolf gnashed his teeth and said is it not enough reward for you that i did not bite off your head when it was between my teeth is it not reward, enough reward for you that i did not bite off your head when it was between my teeth see that's how you get reading you get reading by understanding repeating and i think you have understood the story completely it's a very beautiful story it's a very harsh story this is how it is in life you may help somebody but he will say i did not kill you <laughs> so is it not reward like that's what he's saying isn't it very funny we'll meet in the next video uh the hares and the frogs the hares and the frogs thank you so much